Okay, now for a little filling in. So what you do is, you mix three parts raw umber with one part of black. Then you get like a, how can I put it? A darkish, grayish, brownish black, like that. The same color as a murderous thought. <laughs> anyway, all right. Now, as I said to you earlier, everything under there needs to be shade. Your mind tells you that. So now what you do is, because we spray in like this, you miss all the top edges, did it, it you miss all of that. Um, now, the best way to do this, switch the light off and shine a torch or your phone torch or whatever on it. Then you can see exactly where you still need to cover. And what you do then is you cover it all with this because that is the part away from you. Also, where you have recesses, like I said, in the bogies here, you uh, cover it with this. Now, make the paint slightly thinner than normal paint is, so it mustn't run. Okay, you're going to paint now. Wherever you need it to flow in a bit, you can just take the brush, dip it in the water, and let it flow. All right. So, what I'm going to do is, in the recesses there, with the black, because you've done a pre sort of, you prepared it for this paint. So, it's already darker there. Remember with the wash we went in there. So, just all the pieces that's deep and dark, just enhance it. Because then you get that sort of effect where it pops. And it sort of goes 3D. Okay. Now, most important also is to cover the top of all surfaces and underneath in between surfaces, which is going to have me use two hands here. Now, same rules apply. Wherever you go over the line and make a slight little mess, just wet your control brush this time. And just blend in. So you see there, I went over. You can see here, I went over. Dum, da -dum, da -dum. <coughs> so <coughs> you just, uh, where's the control brush? Just wet your control brush. And just blend that in. Because the rest of your stuff is dry now. Eh? You're not going to change anything there. Um, it will stick. Right, so that's that. Let's do the back here. And make sure that you get all the recesses because trust me, if you shine a light on this or these new cell phone cameras and stuff, it will pick that up. It will, pick, it, it will look like you've done half a job. You don't want that. Now also, everywhere where there is places that you couldn't reach before, or where the airbrush couldn't get in, you, uh, you touch up with this, which means at one point you're going to use a bigger brush and just go crazy. Okay, with the brush, get rid of the lines. Okay, so you have that sort of effect. Okay. 
Now, also, if you look underneath this thing, obviously there, you see all these places there. Take your bigger brush that you used to apply with earlier and just wet it so that it runs more and cover all that stuff in between the things there, in there, cover all of it. On the chassis, these little beams, da -da -da -da. cover all of it. All right. This is places where an airbrush can't reach. And keep your brush wet here because you want it to run. There'd still be places where you won't be able to get in. And this will just automatically run there. So it's better to sort of use it as a semi-wash maybe. Like I said, you know, you don't want, when you pre-mix this stuff, you don't want it lumpy. Okay, so I'm going to shut up and do this. You can just have a look at what I'm doing here. Like I said before, what happened there? I went over the line, rush it in, get rid of it. All right, it's easy as that. Look, very few people is going to go, but so much, you know, just cover this. Just like my buddy said, brush must be everywhere. You see inside there, wet it, take it in. This is going to create your shades. So you see this, that's the effect you'll get. See what I'm getting at. Get in there, all the recesses. Get in there. Right there where you went over the lines. Wash, 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 wash. Look, whatever discoloration there's a bonus. You just don't want any defined lines, like I've said before. Guys, I can't actually stress that enough. Lines you don't want. Alright, so the bottom here. Yeah.
issue correction. Issue correction there. You might not be able to see now, I'm just getting in the spots here where one can't really see. Right, happiness. Now also, on your, um, bogey, you know, but where the pivots are, you would also need to get in there. That is a bit of a cow. It is a bit of a cow. But everything is doable. Right. So what I'm talking about is if you look at it like this, you see everything where you look in like this, where you look in like this, there, everything there must be covered in this wash. Chassis sides, everything. Look, you might not be able to see now. It's also good you're not missing much. This is just to get rid of that awful, awful um, thing that happens when you take a picture. So you cover everything that wasn't covered before. Also behind the headstocks there, behind the headstock, get in there too, because that is actually a very, very good point for a camera to stuff up your whole plan. As these things go, you will always somewhere uh, run out of paint five minutes before the end. Okay, now also,
I'm going to mix a little bit more because I feel that I need some. Like that. Walk away from that. Where's the black? What did I do with the black? Where's the black? What did we do with the black? Oh, here it is, right in front of you. Okay. Mix it in there. Get some water. Mixy, mixy, mixy. It's actually quite easy. And there it is. I had, I did do some of the some of it on the other side and then we had load shedding so that stuffed it out a bit and i swore so badly i had to edit the video <laughs> anyway you can also go underneath on the bogies there because you will sometimes the camera will pick up what's going on here so just wash the inner bits of the you see there Wash the inner bits of the bogey. Everywhere where you haven't touched now. If you see a part that was either badly painted or not painted at all, this is the great fixer. Remember the back of the headstocks. Boomy boom. Underneath there. That should do it. Should have fall in here, but back of the bogey. Bottom of the bogey. Bottom of the bogey. Bottom of the bogey. Make sure that you cover all of it. Okay. I think that will basically do it. Okay, we got there. Oops, that's dry. Boo-boos will happen. But it's okay. You just weather it in. Okay, so there we have the basics done. Now, on all flat spaces in where you're... There where there's a lot of grease and stuff. Take a little bit of this stuff out of the bowl there. Pop it in there. Chuck some water its way. Make a nice little runny wash. Use your same brush that you just used. Mix that in there. Check the consistency. Alright, give it a little bit of water if you need to. 
and then full in here. Right up to where you can see, just full all of it. Cover the pipes, cover everything underneath there. Now, right, so that's very dark now. Now, what you do is you can't get in there with your control brush. Chuck a lot of water at it. What will happen is inevitably the the um, pigment will move around because there's so much water there. Will move around and then it will just settle down and highlight whatever's in it. Now also all your uprights here, you need a thinner the thinner brush for this. All the little shades you're going to see from the top now here. We've covered the bottom. In there. You've got to do all of it. Cover the pipes as well. Now, wet your brush. Chuck it in the thin mix. And wash around there paint the whole thing this is the bright part paint all of it cover it nicely in the holes there everywhere then Control brush, dry, wipe. This will, you just have to squeeze it in there and it'll get rid of most of the, the, the overrun. It's paint. And it will like that just stay where you want it to. Okay, now also you can do the same with the straps around the air tanks. Paint roughly both sides of it. Like that. Not like that. Not like that. Don't do it like that. Do it like just next to the strap like that. Control brush. Dry. Take away where you don't want. Make sure you have no lines. Blend the rest nicely in. Well, that should do it. Do the inside one there quickly. See, these are difficult to reach places. And you will see that the little bit of residue that you've left there is just good enough to sort of create another dimension almost. Paint that. Paint the whole thing here. And instead of now doing that with a control, wet your brush and move the pigment around. Keep it very, very wet and it will 
automatically go and lie in the recesses. And there's that job done. All right. Boom, 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 boom. There's a top there that needs to be done. Take the dark black, like the thick black. Just paint there. Don't go like me over the line there where we just went there. You know what to do. Let's take it away. Like I said, everything you do here creates an extra dimension. Now also, here where the couplers are, I just want to mix there, where the shades are in there, paint there, no worry too much. Take your wash, cover there. Wet it, let it run where it wants to run, control brush, get rid of the lines, and boomy boom, done deal. Underneath there. Deal. Do the same here that you did other side. Don't do that. We'll get to that stuff later. I'm gonna go in here. There. brush give the pigment place to run and pop is your uncle do the break pot pipes shade in there all of it. And so we're going to do the Lots of water. Control brush. Wipe away. The thick on the top here. Just to get rid of the 
its shade. The control I should get rid of that. Get rid of the line. Boomy boom. And there we have it. Okay. Now, thin brush. Just run it over the pipe here. This is the air pipe. Get a little bit of detail around the bolt edge there. Okay, dudes, we're almost there. I'm going to have a smoke and have something to eat, and then I'll be back. Okay. All right.